What's up guys, the Lord Zavine, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Shadow Play feature from NVIDIA. So NVIDIA recently came out with, well I guess not so recently, it was about six months ago, they came out with a new program called NVIDIA Experience, and then shortly after they packaged with it Shadow Play. At first I was really leery of what this was, I thought it was just a marketing gimmick, you know, just another NVIDIA ploy for us to buy their graphics cards because of some crap. I wasn't super on the NVIDIA experience kick, so I thought I'd check it out. The problem is, is that it requires an NVIDIA 600 series graphics card or above. So if you have like a 570 like I had before, you are out of luck. As most of you know on Twitter, I recently upgraded to an NVIDIA 780 Vega Super Clock Edition, which is awesome. I love this card, but that enabled me to use Shadow Play. So I wanted to kind of take a look at it. So Shadow Play is an NVIDIA only feature and it's included in the NVIDIA Experience program. All you need to do to enable it is just to go to the program and click on the button. It comes with three modes out of the box, Stream, Shadow Play, and Record. Stream does exactly what you would think it would do. It allows you to stream to Twitch. However, it doesn't do anything much more than that. You can include a camera and you can play with a couple of settings and that's really about it. It's not really full featured and people who really are gonna want to stream their games are probably not gonna use this feature until it's a lot more fleshed out or you have some way to hook it into some program like XSplit. Record is the next feature in Shadow Play, and it works just like, say, Fraps or any other program like that. You just hit the button and it starts to record automatically. The last feature is Shadow Play, and that's probably the best one out of all three and the one that I use the most. If your game is in full screen mode, you'll have a little icon in the top left corner, at least for me, that's where I put it, that'll show that Shadow Play is working. As you play, it is constantly recording a set amount of time, whatever you set. It can be 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever and it's recording and rendering this little file in the background. If something happens that you really want to keep, oh, you made this amazing kill on planet side, or this crazy thing happened to you in game, you just press one button and it's saved. You have that footage. You didn't have to worry about recording it. And that is what's the coolest feature of Shadow Play to me. So my favorite thing about Shadow Play is that there's almost no performance impact. What you're seeing here are Fraps numbers up at the top right corner of the screen. That's what I'm getting in game as I'm recording this. It just kind of goes, you get maybe one or two frames difference. Now that might be more with lower end cards, but that's it. You just kind of go. And with the Shadow Play feature where it's always on and you're, you're kind of recording in the background and can save it later, that really makes a big difference. I was expecting a bigger performance hit really more like fraps even on my system which is fairly high end just about the best you can get on almost every component fraps still tanks my frame rate sometimes especially in the more intense games like this i could not even hope to record tomb raider or far cry at 1080p or 60 frames per second so there's almost no performance impact and that's incredible the other thing I really like about Shadow Play is that the Shadow Play mode is actually really great. You end up being able to just play games. You don't have to worry about, oh, I've got to record, or oh, I've got to make sure Fraps is set up and Audacity is set up. You can just kind of record, and then when something awesome happens, you just press one button, and it's all saved. That part's really great. You can turn around and set the exact amount of time that you're wanting to go back in time before. It could be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, even 5 minutes, and then it creates a very small little file wherever you choose to save it and then you can use that in your videos that makes it really easy to just go oh crap that was the most insane thing that's ever happened to me in planet side and then just hit a button and you have it and you can use it in your videos just like you're seeing here Let's talk file sizes for a moment. This is one of the features that absolutely shine for me in my opinion, and that's because Shadow Play renders the footage. It doesn't just record the footage, it actually renders it into an H.264 format based on the hardware. This isn't a software solution, this isn't Fraps, this isn't DxTory, this is the actual graphics card using a chip on the card to render the footage to a smaller file, and it does it instantly, and it's so great. It renders it down, it records in 60 frames per second, at 1080p when you have it full screen or whatever your current resolution is most of the time it's 1080p for most people who are going to have a card like this and then it will render it down to an h264 file and it's small it's pretty crazy and it's crystal clear the footage you're seeing here is the footage in shadow play this is just the raw footage i just put the audio in it's pretty crazy the quality is fantastic it's even better than fraps in my opinion and in the situations where it's not it's very 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 close and it's 
one fiftieth the file size. So I've praised this program enough, what are the things that NVIDIA can improve to make it even better? Well, first of all, I would love to be able to enable recording outside of full screen. As it stands now, you have to have your game in full screen mode. You can't have it in a windowed mode, you can't have moved it over to a different monitor, it has to be full screen. And when you're trying to do things like stream, this makes it pretty unusable because you have to be able to access chat, you might want to access a website or music or something like that. Also, if you tab out of your game, it cancels the shadow play. So let's say you've been playing for 20 minutes, you've got to tab out, change it song or something like that, and then you tab back in, you lose all that history. It stops recording that. So if something happens and you want to record this long segment, it will delete that. Also, it would be really important to allow users to record separate audio streams. I've only found one program that does this, and it's still really wonky. If NVIDIA enabled us to select the audio sources that we want to record and record them into separate audio streams, that would make this the default program for users to use to record footage for YouTube or Twitch or anything like that. Being able to select my Skype call with Ian, my game audio, and my mic and say, okay, let's record that and then record that into three separate audio streams so that I can manipulate that in my editing program is very, very important. Right now, YouTubers have to do a lot of workarounds in order to get their audio to sound right. They have to record Skype on a different computer or they have to record their audio separately from their footage, and they have to do a lot of dance rounds. This could really help them out. Finally, the streaming setup is a little primitive. You can stream and here's a camera and that's it. We really need the ability to do more things with it or the ability to send that information directly into XSplit without having XSplit having to render anything. That would be great. I hear they're working on that, but who knows? Anyway, guys, if you are interested in making YouTube videos or you make YouTube videos, I cannot recommend this enough. This is what I am using to record everything these days. I absolutely love it. I have recorded moments I never would have been able to before when I'm just playing by myself or playing off camera and I just turn around, something happens and I'm able to record it. And that's amazing. I highly recommend it. It's not a gimmick like I thought it was, so you should check it out. Anyway, guys, like always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumb. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like Shadow Play, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.